Good morning, everybody. It's Jen again, <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to film some type of meal prep something or other today. <laughs> Bear with me, y'all. I've not had my coffee this morning yet. Um, I just, I woke up early this morning because sometimes just wake up before you mean to wake up just because you got to pee and you are already up. So I was like, hey, I am going to get my stuff started that takes a while. Um, I got my yogurt started in the Instant Pot. This is my second time making this, and uh, yeah, just be warned, you ever start making your own yogurt, they're right when you watch videos and read recipes, you will never go back to store-bought yogurt. It is just next level, and it's so stupid easy to do. Uh, this is made using the Fairlife Whole Milk Cold Start Yogurt, if you're curious, uh, but it's got to inc incubate, is that the right term? I don't know. It's got to be on that yogurt mode for eight hours. And, uh, till the next step. So, it takes a long time, but it ain't nothing I got to fool with. So, I got it in there. It's ready to go. Uh, and then I just got started. Because y'all can see the butter ain't even melted yet. A, uh, beef sirloin roast. I'm on vacation next week. And I have just been, uh, craving some good old beef roast. I'm going to be making up later to go with this. I got some fresh broccoli. Then I'm going to be, I don't know. I saw this recipe to make, like, garlic roasted broccoli we're going to try that because this has garlic uh in it y'all see the little garlic bits and then i'm gonna um roast some turnips to go with it so that's gonna be real good i'm ready but it ain't gonna be done probably about eight hours there i like to slow cook it it is worth waiting i don't know what it is when you cook stuff in a crock pot it just tastes better to me i don't know it, I, you just like you can replicate it in something like an instant pot or something but it just it ain't the same i don't know okay i just wanted to share because i just found this funny and just something i do y'all notice the butter ain't melted yet <laughs> come back in here to finally make me some coffee because i hadn't had it yet <laughs> and i had flipped this thing to low heat but y'all i did not have it plugged in <laughs> So this has been sitting here for like 25 minutes. I'm like, why ain't this getting hot? Lord have mercy. <laughs> anyway, Eddie, you going to keep me on track? <laughs> Get to it, y'all. It's plugged in now. I feel some warmth. <laughs> My coffee's brewing, and I forgot to show y'all this, which I get fancy like on the weekends and my days off. I like make me like espresso and this thing. Normally, I just like chug some black coffee and run on work days but anyway we we getting we having the experience this morning i forgot to show y'all um because when i start planning out my meal prep so this is my binder that i have built over the last like year and a half since i found out i had to eat a certain way and kind of teaching myself how to cook stuff and what even different things are like when I tell you I started at nowhere I started nowhere like meal prep was so overwhelming for me so this is my little binder I know I'm old school I like to print out my recipes see here's my what I did this morning I had it out instant pot cold start yogurt I haven't put it in my sheet protectors yet because I usually do that because I usually get stuff all over my recipes ah, maybe some vanilla extract last week or it's making super fancy uh these are the ones i watch youtube videos and they won't have a um link to an actual like printable recipe so i write it on these little cat cards and those y'all from my art channel might recognize these this is actually a currency as people that collect bills like it's divided in three little pockets like that <laughs> So yeah, that's super fancy recipes, but here's the slow cooker pot roast I made today, and I will literally just go flipping through here, which I need to take this one out, because this is my bread recipe that I'll need later, and uh, I'm going to make myself a note so I know to link all these recipes, whether they're videos or um, actual like printout ones down below for y'all if you're curious. Um, but yeah, I just have all these, and these are the ones that I have actually tried, and uh, they made the cut. They went in a sheet protector. <laughs> Y'all can see, like, this one must have, before I got in there, it's got, like, a stain on it. I mean, this is, this is epic. I wish I had one of those cute little books, you know, where they put on the fancy, um, what you call it, 
fancy uh, little recipe cards and stuff, but no, nah, I just print it. And yeah, I just kind of go through here and I'm like, am I feeling like fooling with something? Do I want something cold for my lunches next week? Like egg salad? Do I want this? And um, I just take them out and I stack them up. And so when I go do my meal prep, all my recipes are out there. Unless it's a video. <laughs> and then I'm sitting here with my phone and I'm like, okay, pause. Okay, let's do this step, which I'll be doing that later when I make cheese. I've never made my own cheese and I'm just nutty enough to try it but yeah see, i didn't know how to make a deviled egg i had to look that up i have somewhere in here how to do eggs and this is i'll tell y'all how like overwhelming and how just like not oh is my coffee done not um skilled let me turn the burner off there not skilled at meal prepping and cooking and stuff i had never done eggs on a stove <laughs> I had always done like my scrambled eggs and stuff in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am watching YouTube videos and stuff. Literally, how to scramble eggs. I had to do how to hard boil eggs. How to, and uh, I'm just very thankful for all these wonderful people that uh, make videos and put content out explaining things to me. <laughs> this is funny. This is my bread recipe I'm going to be making later. And it's literally... Um, I, I took a snippet of the description box of her YouTube video. <laughs> it's Deidre's Kitchen. Um, best low-carb bread. I'm putting this over here. Best low-carb bread that I have ever tried. And, uh, yeah, whole nother story, whole nother day. I think she's got it for if you don't have a bread machine anyway. But, yeah, I'm going to quit rambling because my coffee's done. I am back and caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all will probably notice a difference, but uh, my no, my dad's up, so now I can use the blender because I didn't want to wake him up. I didn't want to be that person, you know. Um, and so I'm gonna start making my ice cream mixture. I got my steamed zucchinis, my peeled and steamed, chopped whatever zucchinis that I did last night, or maybe the night before. <laughs> I can't remember. And I got my ultra fancy recipe and um, I'm going to link the video where I got the idea for it down below. Now in the video she doesn't do it low carb. I think it's more of a kind of like vegan channel. Um, if you if that's your like way that you eat and you don't have to like watch your sugars and stuff. She has a bunch of videos making that like ice cream out of bananas and sweet potatoes and stuff. But I came across her video and it was the first time I'd seen them use something that I can have. Which was zucchinis. And I've made this. This will be the third or fourth time now. I've made it. And I was shocked with how good it is. Now I, just if you see it, I do it differently than her. So I did it exactly the way she does it except I didn't use regular sweetener. I think she uses either table sugar or maple syrup in hers. Um, I've been using allulose, um, but whole nother story, whole nother day, um, and I use unsweetened soy milk. I think she uses regular soy milk, and yeah, I, I make it low carb, basically. <laughs> that makes sense, and she adds the avocado. I did that the first time. I actually like it better without the avocado. So, I'll try to remember to put those notes. Anytime I, like, deviate from the original recipe, I'll try to put notes in the description box. And her flavor she does is mint chocolate chip. That's what I made the first time. And it's really good. But last time, I actually made um, two flavors. I just did a straight vanilla. And I did a coffee. Which I loved more. And um, today, I don't know. It depends on how much zucchini I have. Um... I can only do, in my ice cream maker, four cups of liquid at a time. So, if I have enough, I'm going to do two different flavors again. And then, um, if I don't, uh, I may just make a coffee one. Or, I kind of want to try maybe some, maybe vanilla, cinnamon vanilla. Almost like a, oh, what's that drink? It's like the, um, I think it's Mexican cuisine. Is it, is it horchata? Am I just off base here? Like, it's vanilla and cinnamon. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all let me know. My brain, even though I have my coffee's not going. But, I'm going to get this all mixed together in uh, 
my blender and get this chilling because it needs to be in the fridge for like I think two to four hours it needs to be completely chilled before I can even start thinking about putting it in my ice cream maker alrighty y'all so I got my base done um, it made seven and a half cups <laughs> shoot hopefully it's gonna work okay because she calls for soy milk I had some homemade almond milk that I had left over from last week that need to be used so that's what I use mostly <laughs> I just go with it y'all and this is like I said it's just a vanilla base and uh, I just start mixing and I add a little bit of vanilla at a time and I taste as I go and I mix it in and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes now I did want to say this is called ice cream they use that very generously I think to me it when it's finished which I'll see it has a texture more like if you've ever gotten low fat ice cream so it's really good but it's not that like slow churn homemade y'all know what i'm saying but it is really good but i'm gonna get this in the fridge for a few hours and then we'll revisit here in a bit all right turnips and broccoli are chopped and ready to go for later i just want to share this and it's probably common sense to a lot of you but <laughs> again like i said i started from pretty much nothing with this and uh, i just found this tip out this past week and it's like life-changing with regards to fresh broccoli so i have always dreaded fooling with fresh broccoli because it is such a mess to get chopped up and um you know broken down into florets and stuff because i make a, a broccoli salad which i may fool with next week i don't know but i saw i was just watching some random video and they showed and made the tip where you only when you're cutting them up you only cut this uh, stalk part so like if it's a tree you don't cut the leaves if that makes sense this little annoying stuff here so you only cut this and then you kind of pull this part apart the knife never touches this little green the green leafy part if that makes sense and y'all there was hardly any mess okay so that's how I'm going to do these from now on. Maybe I will fool with fresh broccoli more often. Alrighty, y'all. Next thing I'm going to make up is chia seed pudding. I've had this for my breakfast every single day for like the last three or four months. <laughs> and there is no uh, thought of it stopping anytime soon. <laughs> ever since I found out what it was, I'm obsessed with it. I didn't even know what a chia seed was. <laughs> beforehand and um, I'll link the video down below where I found the recipe for it I finally found one that didn't have coconut because I can't have coconut and all these were calling for coconut cream and coconut milk and all this I can't have that oh let me open this lid and I'll show you what the finished product looks like first and then I'll show you when I get the the big batch because now I know I like this stuff so much instead of making one jar at a time I make however many jars and I multiply out and put it in here all right, before I get putting all that junk in there. So here's what it looks like. This one's not the cleanest, is it? I just ladle it out and put it in there. So um, this is one I made last weekend. And those chia seeds really plump up. And see, it's really thick. And uh, I had one of these for breakfast. It was amazing. And especially before work, I get my black coffee. I grab this. I'm ready to go. And I just love these things. This one, I think I did apple pie spices, vanilla, and almond butter instead of peanut butter so i've done both but yeah you you can pretty much play around with this however but they're so good and if you want to get extra fancy you can get you some of that uh, you make you up some whipped cream or get you some at zero sugar ready whip and put it on top of there and it's just great i just love having this um grab and go also when i had to go to training i wasn't sure if they were gonna have something i could eat and i just wrapped this up in some aluminum foil and put it in my bag and i ate this when I got there, it was so good. But anyway, let me get to making this big mess of stuff, and I'll be back. Let me let this set. I'm going to get caught up on a couple things, and I'll be back with y'all and let you know how many servings I did end up getting out of that. Alrighty, y'all. Real quick, uh, it actually came out exactly to eight. So apparently, I actually measured correctly this time. <laughs> oh, well. That works out perfect. So... And uh, I'm not the cleanest getting them in there, but they're going to be good. Alrighty, another little update. 
Beef is smelling amazing. Yogurt's got about an hour till it goes in the fridge. I got my milk on to make cheese. I got this little setup with a cheesecloth something or other. I don't know. I'm just following a recipe. Got my lemon juice juiced. If that makes sense. Uh, for my cheese. Uh, ice cream maker. I already made the vanilla cinnamon. Oh, hold on. Let me forgot my lemons i have extra i'm cleaning and deodorizing my microwave with those uh or the parts left after i squeeze the lemon juice out y'all know what i mean this is my little cheapo ice cream maker i got on prime day already made the vanilla cinnamon um it kind of worked i don't know it didn't come together as well as last time i think it could be a few factors because i used my almond milk mostly instead of soy milk and also putting uh, that cinnamon in there may have done something but it seized pretty quick in there so y'all I don't know if y'all can see there's a little bit of liquid in the bottom so we'll see what that texture is it'll still be good and edible because I've made it without a ice cream maker before the texture's not as good but I'll eat it and then I have the other batch ready to go once that bowl freezes again for the ice cream maker um i just added decaf instant coffee to the vanilla base that i made so because i usually eat that ice cream at night after work and i don't want any caffeine in there so right now i'm just waiting for this milk to come up to 190 degrees fahrenheit if this works y'all it's gonna blow my mind <laughs> i never done this stuff before Alrighty, y'all. I'm just going to show y'all real quick because I'm kind of on a time crunch with this. But look, I'm making cheese. I'm excited. Ooh. <laughs> so it's got curds and whey in here. I'm putting it in the cheesecloth and supposedly this is all going to come together as cheese. <laughs> we will see. Um, I got my yogurt um, in the refrigerator so it's got a chill for a little bit um my beef is almost done and i got my bread machines down i'll show you all that in a minute gonna get that started about done for the day Alrighty, y'all so i got my cheese <laughs> it's weighted down with a mason jar full of water and uh it's dripping away a little bit but my farmer's cheese is in there chilling i got the oven preheating for the turnips y'all might can hear it it is thundering and it going on and uh it makes it real warm up here so if i have to have melted butter for a recipe i just put it up there and let it melt <laughs> but here's my little pans uh that go in the bread machine so i'm just going to put everything in there get that going um and that takes three hour a little over three hours I do two, there's a two pound loaf for my machine. I do it on medium. So, right, Eddie. Right. Got my dishes caught up for the moment. But Lord have mercy, does it smell good. I bet it's good. Oh, it's just a steaming and a bubbling and going on. So, and then I think I'm about done for today, which I'm tired. <laughs> which that hadn't been all I've been doing. I've been doing other things in between. Thankfully, there's not a lot of fooling with this stuff. And if that cheese works out and it tastes good, that was kind of crazy easy to make. I'm skeptical. I hope I didn't oversalt it because it didn't really said like a teaspoon. But I have a salt grinder, so I just kind of grinded some on there. And I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. And here's my leftovers. Probably get another two or three meals out of these for the turnips. Oh, these are so good. I'm going to have to go get more turnips next week. Um, well, here pretty soon. I just, I love them just roasted on a flat pan. Um, my broccoli. And I got quite a bit of roast left, like right there. So that's probably, yeah, good probably three meals left. Oh, so good. Right, Eddie? Right? my bread's going so it is um rising 
I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. Um, I've been seeing these things online that like the whey, which is the liquid you have left after making yogurt, you can use it in place of water and baking bread and stuff. We'll see. I did whey in this one, water in this one. This one's rising more. I may have to beat it down though if it don't start baking soon. The last batch I made, I come in here and it had risen all the way to the top there. Oh, and that heat's not messing with my fruit, is it? No, it's not getting to the fruit. Um, did I show y'all my cheese that came out? Let's see. Oh, here's some whey. <laughs> Let me show y'all my cheese. I actually need to get my yogurt out. Because I need to start the whey draining off this batch of yogurt. Just to get some more of those carbs out. Oh, don't drop it, Jennifer. Just to get some more of those carbs out. Because most of the carbs... Oh, isn't this lovely filming? But most of the carbs are in the way. So, there it is. But you gotta let it really, really chill. So, I'm basically gonna plop it out in a colander lined with some coffee filters. I think you could use a flour sack towel too. Uh, over top of a bowl and let it drip in the fridge for a couple hours. Here's my cheese I made, y'all. Out of a gallon of Walmart whole milk. Great value. Look at that. It made a ton of cheese. Next time I make it, I'm just going to do a half gallon of milk. <laughs> That's like a quart of cheese, y'all. But let me tell you what. It tastes amazing. It was really easy to do. I'm, I'm like shocked. Alrighty, y'all. My bread just finished, so I put it out on a, one of these baker's racks or whatever you call it to cool. Um, I don't even try to slice it until it's just completely cool because it will just, it, 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 it just is a lot easier. <laughs> but it came out pretty good, y'all. Here's the top of the loaf. There's the back, and here's this little part. This is where the paddle's in there. Some people take the paddle out before it starts baking. I don't care. Mmm. Oh my gosh, there's another one. This little part back there. Mmm. It's the best low-carb bread that I have ever tried or made. Um, the ingredients are not the cheapest, but I don't eat that much bread, so it lasts me a long time. This is my only, like, frou-frou thing where I have to, like, order the ingredients. I saw another popular bread that I never tried that was made out of, like, egg powder or something and i looked at egg powder was like eighty dollars like this stuff ain't eighty dollars but mm, so good and to me it tastes just like dark wheat bread which is what i ate before and we've you know always used the bread machines because the store-bought bread hurts like mine and my dad's stomach but yeah i'm gonna get to it i got some chores and stuff but as far as meal prep goes other than um taking the yogurt out and putting it into eight portions of these little wide mouth pints just like I do with my chia pudding and slicing this up once it cools I'm done y'all and I just usually keep out enough for like four or five sandwiches and then the rest goes in the freezer and I only have to do this about once every other month so this meal prep was a little more involved like I tried out new recipes I did stuff I usually only do every once in a while. And this bread, too. Like, everybody's bread. Here, let me turn the loaf here. Watch me burn the snot out of myself doing this. There we go. Now you can kind of see the loaf. <laughs> um, I think you're supposed to, like, slice it and use this whole thing as one slice. And it's huge. Like, here. Here's this little pot holder from Dollar Tree. Like, it's the same height as that. I actually slice it... And then slice it again in half. So I do half slices. But anyway. I'm going to get to it y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me on this crazy little meal prep today. <laughs> I just drank some coffee. Now I got to get back to doing like regular chores. <laughs> so I will see y'all soon with something else. Bye y'all.